Hey guys, it's John, and this is my playthrough of the Broken Veil demo. This is a fairly recent uh, horror platformer that just came out. Looks very, very similar to Little Nightmares. Uh, almost prohibitively so. But uh, I'm gonna check it out. I've been to check this out for a few weeks now, and I'm excited to see what this one's all about. Should be a fairly short experience, but we'll get a feel for what the full game could be like. Oh. Yeah, look at this. I mean... Very, very similar to Little Nightmares. Here we are, everyone's asleep. Except us, though. Why are they, why do they have beds that are so big? Look at these. What do you need all that room for? We're short little shrimps. We don't need full-size beds, do we? Is this some kind of orphanage, maybe? Very generous with the living conditions here. I'll just say that. Okay. Yeah, I think we're- oh! I thought we were good. Hello there. Sorry, what? Oh! Oh, I got caught! Okay. So if you press control... You can crouch. Okay, so we got- we got caught and we got lectured by the Peanuts teacher, apparently. Well... Click left mouse button to press. Uh, okay, so she's looking around for the remote. Now is she gonna come over and get it? Or what? Oh, she's gonna... She's gonna come up and turn it on. Ooh. Okay, so that's how we get through. <laughs> Interesting. What is... Okay, I guess this is just a tiny little broom closet with nothing in it. I love the faceless sketch up there on the wall. Perfect. A prime example of artistry. We got- we got to put that one up! Some kid drew- drew somebody without a face. We gotta keep it. What is this? There's like a little doll in there. Do we maybe... Oh, platform. Press space to climb. I got it. Click left mouse button to push. Oh! Well, before we do that, let's, uh, explore a little bit before I get in trouble. Oh. Oh. We don't want him to... see us. Let's go back in. Um, boom. And... Left click to push. Hold shift to sprint. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. He put me in the broom closet! I'm getting punished! Let's see- let's see if I can sprint out after this. Or if I'm gonna get caught again. Okay. Cause I- I, I spent a long time, I thought we had to get like the... The doll head. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, hello? <laughs> Hold- hold A to push. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I got out. I guess I got out, I don't know. He just kind of stood up, it's like he- he froze. Alright. Ooh, can I swing? Yeah? No? Can't swing. Why do I feel like something's buried in this sandbox? Hmm. Well, if they're buried in here, I'm jumping on top of them now. Okay. Do I maybe... Oh, no, no, no. Pick it up, please. There we go. Let's dig. Okay, I dug up something. What did I get? It sounded like... I don't even know what it was. It was like some kind of like jewelry or something. Do I do something with this? Oh, you can't fit through there? Oh, I call BS on that. You, you tell me you can't fit through there? Press space to jump. What? Oh! Oh, we go in. Okay. I didn't realize that there was a little gap there. It looked like something else in the dark. Well, we've escaped from the orphanage with tremendous accommodations. We are expected to grow into those beds. They want us there for a long time. Okay, so whoever drove this is just not... Yeah, they're not gonna come out. 
You're still in your pajamas, kid. Like, you may as well have dressed for the occasion. Huh? I look steam coming out of the sewers. I like that. Graffitied car? We're in a rough part of town? They took- They took the tires! Here we go. We go- We go under this. Ow. I'm not- I'm not thrilled with the controls so far. Oh, no. Bullies! Bigger kids! Go back through, kid. It's not too late. Oh, wow. Okay, they're just kicking me. Look at their mouths! No, don't put me down there! Why wow, they're cracking themselves up. This kid has no survival skills. Why don't you just go back through the fence? They couldn't fit. Press left mouse button to take item. Like what? Like the chalk? Press F to turn on laser. Oh, what? For the... for the cat? You can guide cat with your laser pointer to reach high spots. Oh, that's cool. Actually, I kind of like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's this? What'd I just get? I don't know what this is. What is this? Am I using it for something? I don't really understand, uh, what I'm supposed to use this thing for. Excuse me, cat. What about this backpack? Can I- can I pet the cat? What do you do with this? Can I see it? I can see it up close. What do you- what is this? It's got hooks on it. Okay, can we use it to pull something? Maybe this? Ah, okay, okay. It all makes sense now. I didn't understand what it was at first. All right, buddy. See you later. Oh. Uh-oh. Now we're here. There's definitely baddies around here, yeah? Oh, there's a pig head? Oh, that's no good. Press spacebar while holding an item to throw it. So like this, for example. Oh my gosh, you must get it exactly on the button. I did it. Oh. Wait, it started, but then it it didn't keep going. Hmm, maybe there's an additional step that I need to take. Uh, can I... Can I grab this? No? Okay, do I... Just try to press it again? Maybe it takes multiple times? It's like a... Lawnmower. If it doesn't work after this, I'll try something else. Nope. Okay. It is. It needs something else. Maybe. Do we hop up here? No. Jump and hold left mouse button to grab the rope. How do you figure? That rope? The one that's way up there? No. Oh, this one? Huh. Oh. Oh, this is what we were trying to get? Oh, it was too heavy. Okay. <laughs> nice. We had to get rid of the heavy thing. How about we, uh... Okay, wait. Do I grab something and then I... I grab something and I get pulled along. Okay, right there. Okay, we're gonna have to... Oh my gosh. I see what it wants me to do. We have to do a running start. With shift, I guess. And then we're gonna have to grab the rope as it passes. Let me get this, let me get this. Oh, okay. Just hold it, just hold it. Strong little guy. Are you sure you don't want to go back to the orphanage? It seemed like you were loved there. I may have been misreading the situation. I don't know what happened before bedtime, but... I mean, they did throw you in the broom closet when you were caught out, so maybe not. Okay, we obviously don't want to go into the meat grinder. Hmm. Look at all the meat. It's interesting, because this is very similar. There, there's a... an area in Little Nightmares. Similar to this, I would say. Oh. Look, it's it's grinding up the meat. Do we maybe use the bone to gum up the works? 
think we maybe need this. I think maybe we throw with the... the bone. God. This kid... This kid's footsteps clomp and stomping around everywhere. Can okay, maybe we hop up here? Pig head? Can you pick up pig head? No? Can you pick up knife? How about this? Hmm. Okay, I can't- I can't pull this up. He seems to be upset. He keeps looking at me every time I do it. Like, why'd you make me do that? I'm wondering if we use the bone. Here, let's throw it up here. Okay. And then, we get up. We use the bone on the vent to, like, pry it open. It's like a crowbar. That's what we do, right? Yeah! Get in there. Now put the bone down. Okay. Oh, now this, I mean, this is... Exactly. Like little nightmares. <laughs> it's not even trying to hide it. Here, let's, hang on, oof. Ugly. Let's turn the brightness up. Can't, can barely even see in here. Can y'all see now? Okay. It was really dark. That's exactly like Little Nightmares 1. Oh no! Uh oh. Get up! Nope! Okay, you got caught. <laughs> Why'd the butcher transform like that? Ooh, a slide. Jump! I press space, no jump. Maybe, maybe you, uh, climb? Why'd he jump that time? What the? Why'd he jump that time? Why did he jump? I swear it's the game. I would, I would tell you if it wasn't. Jump! He won't jump again! It's bugged! It's bugged! Sometimes he'll jump after the slide, and other times he won't. He won't do it. He won't do it. He, like, starts to jump, and then he doesn't. Yeah. It's like you can't jump- you have to jump at a certain exact point to land on the scale. And if you don't, then he just stops. If you try to jump after the designated point, like right there at the abacus, right there, he just doesn't do it. Like I did it that one time, but then I was so... Oh! Fuck! What it- I didn't- I didn't hit it! Oh my god. So, okay. Let me tell you where Nightmare- Oh! Oh, I have to click. I think I have to click. Never mind, never mind, never mind. That's my fault, not the game's. That last one, that last one was my fault. At least it gives you a checkpoint. Okay. I'm- I'm messing these up. But it- it also is not very fluid. What? <laughs> okay. And that's where it ends. Broken Veil. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's get the obvious out of the way. So this is very, very similar to uh, Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Well, not a bad thing. I really like the art style. But I think where this one loses me a little bit is that it, it is like a very unpolished version of that game. Uh, the control is not very fluid. Uh, there's no controller support right now on the demo, which this is the type of game that I like playing on controller rather than mouse and keyboard. Um, I'd just rather have the omnidirectional stick than WASD. Yeah, the control not very fluid. I did mess up a little bit there at the end, but that jump was legitimately bugged on the scale. I don't know, like if I was, if you asked me to replicate what I did there, I wouldn't be able to do it. The creature design seems to just be like, thing with no eyes and big mouth. 
so far. Like those bullies that were throwing us into the cellar. And the butcher monster at the end. Not exactly super original, and Little Nightmare's strength is in its creature design. Very, very strong monsters in Little Nightmares. Um, if you liked this and you haven't played or seen Little Nightmares, I very much recommend it. Seriously, an awesome series so far. The first one and the sequel. I think I might prefer the second one over the first one, and I really like the first one. But yeah, Broken Veil, vale, you know, if you're gonna copy something this closely, if you're gonna be this derivative, then you have to improve upon it in some way. And not only were some sequences and some environments like almost looking like they were lifted verbatim from Little Nightmares, that is to say, recreated exactly as they were. Uh, I mean, I, I just, I, I feel like there's no reason to play this un like unless you just want more Little Nightmares. You know, I get that Little Nightmares has Bandai Namco money, you know, major publisher, and this is uh, an indie project. So for what it is, it's very impressive. But I think if they're gonna want to make a full game out of this and not have it just be like an interesting, if derivative, indie horror experiment, then I'm, I'm gonna need to see a little bit more. I liked a couple things in it. Like I liked the the bone prying open the vent. Little puzzle there. That wasn't bad. There were some moments that weren't bad, but it's just like falling out of the vent right in front of the butcher. It's like when you fall out of the vent right in front of, I think it's the chefs in the first Little Nightmares. It's, that's exactly how they set it up. And I just kind of wish that there was a little bit more creativity shown considering there's so much room for it. Yeah, those are my thoughts on Broken Veil. I can't promise that I'll play the full thing if and when it ever comes out, but I thought it would be interesting enough to showcase on the channel, just the demo. So let me know what you thought about the Broken Veil demo, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Think critically.